Water fasting consists of drinking only clean water and not eating any foods. There are four stages the body goes under when you eat no foods and only drink purified water. Of course, this depends on how long you are going to fast for. The first stage consists of when the body is being without food for six plus hours and it starts running out of glucose from our food source such as carbs and other sugars that we eat on a regular basis. At this point, our muscles, heart, liver, and other vital organs will rely on fatty acids for energy. But the brain still needs that glucose for energy. Instead of getting glucose from our food, the brain will get glucose from our body's stored protein in a process called gluconeogenesis, which does create glucose from our amino acids so the brain can continue to receive glucose for energy. Now, the second stage is when your body has fast past the 22 hours and no longer has the glycogen stores. The brain knows this and will switch to a stage where it spares protein in the body and moves to ketosis. In this stage, insulin levels are low, which is a good thing because insulin is what helps store the fat in the body, which we, of course, uh, we like to get, minimize that. When insulin and glucose levels are low, it causes the liver to send a message saying, I'm low on glycogen, which in response, the pancreas produces a molecule called glucagon. Now glucagon will activate the enzyme lipase in our fatty tissue, which this does cause lipolysis or splitting of fat, which breaks the backbone of triglycerides into fatty acids and glycerol, which is then carried into the bloodstream by albumin. The fatty acids are then utilized by the muscles, heart, bones, and other organs for fuel. And some of the fatty acids are converted into ketone bodies, which is then used for energy for our brain. The glycerol backbone is converted into glucose and used for more energy for the brain. Even though the body is utilizing the biochemistry process of ketosis for energy, it still needs small amounts of real glucose which it will get from non-essential proteins, such as breaking down old scar tissue, worn out cells, and non-malignant growths. The third stage is called the compensated ketoacidosis, which is a complete shift of the body breaking down fat tissue. The brain no longer uses glucose at all, only uses ketones, which are broken down from fat storage. This process begins around about roughly seven days of water fasting and continues until the person stops the fast. Fat loss can be as high as half a pound to a pound of pure fat a day. Wow. The fourth stage is the danger stage. This is known as the starvation stage because the body has run out of non-essential proteins to use as glucose for the brain and we'll go back to our vital organs to get proteins to convert into glucose for the brain. This puts your body in a state of complete breakdown of the body and happens for most people around 30 to 40 days of water fasting, depending on the amount of fat stores and muscle mass on an individual. For most people, I recommend my patients to just start with stage one which is fine on their own as long as they are not on serious medications or have serious illnesses. Stage two, which is going past the 24 hours, I recommend that you need to be supervised by a medical physician, but that is where you will see the most health benefits. Stage three is which is when seven days and beyond, you must be at least at a medical facility to be closely monitored. And stage four, I never recommend. To find out about the benefits and how to do a proper water fast, subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted when those videos are posted. Thank you for watching and see you next time on my videos of Docere, Doctor as Teacher.